each of the governments is all, it's essentially the same regime kind of across all of Europe. It's like very like totally yeah. aesthetically the same. Um, and none of them are providing much hope. Like Macron at least is kind of like masculine and he kind of has like a masculine aesthetic, which is good, but In it's- sense, Yeah, really yeah. Very masculine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, I, I guess the thing is, it's just like, it feels like when so, it, it, this, it feels so similar to the twenties. We're like, it, right, it's- we're it, in the 20s. <laughs> Yes, I think we're in the 20s. Because, like, it just seems like, it's, and, and particularly in Europe, we're in the 20s, I feel like. Because, like, the Italians had been a joke for so long up until Mussolini came in. And, like, you know, it, it's like, the, the, like Mussolini's bio, like autobiography, the foreword was written by the American ambassador to Italy. Like, the degree to which the Anglo, like, the Anglo kind of, like, leadership embraced Mussolini is, is like, you know, it's been kind of memory hold in a, in a very, very, very big way. So it's like, I just, it feels like something's going to break because like some country is going to kind of like get ambitious again. Yeah, but uh, you can get ambitious, but then you have to, you need to have the, you know, the means to, to drive that ambition somewhere. Right? Like, uh, you know, the civil war in Spain happened mm -hmm. because they had reached this point of complete uh, breakdown of the political system and nobody believed in it anymore. But mm -hmm. also, everybody there knew how to shoot a gun and some were veterans from the Morocco campaigns. So they were a completely different stuff from what you have now. Like, okay, so uh, there's a... There has been constant unrest in, in European cities for a long time now, because every summer Paris, uh, Paris uh, neighborhoods burn down, and every summer uh, there is riots in Catalonia because of the separatist movement. Um, mm -hmm. Like you can get all these unrest, but people do not have the capacity to go the next step. You describe like the Byzantine Empire. So okay, so is the argument this is this is really interesting. So is the argument then that essentially like Europe is the Byzantine Empire, which it like it's kind of like there's unrest occasionally, but for the most part, like everyone is so kind of just like flaccid that like yeah. there, there's a good chance of like everyone just kind of accept their lot in life, and there will be occasional uprisings, and then kind of the state comes in, and the state's powerful enough to maintain its power, but we to like, like the, the Byzantines were never able to really put down the Persians. Um, you know, it, it's just that kind of... Yeah, like it's, uh, it's, you know, okay, you can burn some cars, things are going to break down and there is going to be insecurity in cities. Okay, but uh, who's going to come up with a big idea and say, okay, I'm going to change the world, follow me. and you know, he's going to turn people into soldiers or political advocates with such strong convictions that they're going to, you know, risk their families or their comfort for anything. True. Yeah, because I guess like when you have a country becomes like ambitious, it's kind of like it's a zero to one. I guess yeah. maybe, maybe this is the argument is that, you know, you, like the, the, the Neo-Assyrian Empire is never as big of a deal as the Assyrian Empire. And, but you only kind of get that redo once. So it's kind of like, you know, Americans come to America and are instantly kind of like doing a big push. And then there's a lot of easy narratives for renewal. There, there's an easy narrative of renewal for, you know, the problem is just the government because we're like, all of our corporations are still dominant. So, you know, it's very easy to say the political system is the problem. We're going to have like a renewal based on whatever this constitutional amendment, boom, or even just like if the whole country just like became like a loose federation again, there's 50 states, renewal, boom, new period. There's a lot of easy narratives for yeah. renewal, but like, I feel like if, if, if like, like the Romans, like the Romans, they had, a, they had the kind of the one-time renewal narrative of, okay, we can blame the system. And now we have our God Emperor Augustus that'll lead us into the future. And then the second renewal is all of our problems is a city of Rome because the Romans are lazy and the senators are terrible. So we're going to move to Constantinople and that'll be good because that's near like the riches of the East. And like you, there's this renewal narrative, mm -hmm. but like they couldn't have done a second Augustus. You only get to play that card once. Yeah. 